Hey, hey, hey. Uh, welcome back. We are problem solving day two. Um, <laughs> I should have had that written. That was so undramatic. Whoa, what is that? That's cool. I've never seen that before. I can do that. Anyway, uh, welcome. Problem solving day two. So again, thinking about what is going on, uh, we are definitely using fractions. Um, at the heart of it, we are dividing with fractions, but as we saw in the last video, there may be some other steps that are involved to get our final answer. So it, it really could come down to like multiple operations with fractions, but we're going to go through that idea again today of like problem solving day two, um, that process of let's read our stories one sentence at a time. And once we've gathered that first mm -hmm. sentence, how then can we model what we read? Then how can we build that into the equation and then kind of repeat that process, right? So then I go back and I read the next sentence and is there more modeling I can do and more equations and whatnot. So uh, let's get into that. That's what we got going on today. I did not prep it, which actually I should, uh, I should have. So let me do this. I'm going to add a page. This is fun. Let's do this. Let's do this together and let's just type this out. So here's our story. So let's think about this. Uh, we have Nathan, good old Nathan. All right, Nathan has two, let's write it this way, two eight foot long boards. Okay, period. Oh, this is a great idea. Man, I'm so smart. So there's the first sentence. I'm not even gonna give you the whole story problem. Let's just do the first sentence. So it says, Nathan has two eight foot long boards. Sentence one. Okay, so how can we model that? Well, I guess what makes sense with that is that we literally can draw two uh, eight foot long boards. So here's one board. Um, and I'm gonna call this one by eight. That's what makes it eight. Um, that, so there's like the board number one and then board number two. All right, so I'm gonna do it in a different color. Why not? But same thing. So here's two boards, each eight feet long. If it makes more sense, you could also just model that as like a number line, right? Here's a board, uh, zero, here's the eight feet. What's in the middle? Four feet, uh, six, two, right? So you could do that in that model as well. I think both of those would be really acceptable. I like that. Okay, so Nathan has two foot long, uh, two eight foot long boards. So I have two of them. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm going to erase this number line, although I think that's actually a really good idea. I kind of wish I would have done that before I drew my rectangles. Um, and I'm going to erase my little uh, things here. And then I'm just going to say kind of the same idea. Let's see, this is zero to eight. So zero to eight, right? Because it's eight feet long. Okay. Um, and I guess we could, if we wanted to could cut it because each one of these is one foot. Oh, but I don't know if he's cut it yet. Oh, no, don't do that. We don't know if he's cut it. Never mind. I don't know. All right, let's go to sentence two. Let's see here. I think there's a way for me to do this. Let's see if I can do this. So can I just click on this? Oh, it says add. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if you can... Oh, why can't I move it? Uh-oh, this went from like... Oh, here we go. This went from such a good idea. All right, sentence number two. Uh, now he's got two boards. Uh, he cuts one board into one fourth foot pieces. Whoa, let's try that again. Pieces. Okay, cool. I like this idea of actually typing one sentence at a time to process this. So now let's think about what that means. So one of these boards we're cutting into one foot, one fourth pieces, one fourth foot pieces. So actually, Going back to what I was just saying, this could work because if we think that actually one, I'm going to actually create eight feet because each one of these boxes is going to be eight, right? I mean, sorry, one foot, right? This would be one foot, two feet, three feet. And again, in measurement, not like the things on the end of your legs, four feet, five, six, seven feet, eight feet. So there is eight feet. But what it's saying is that actually they're cutting it into one fourth piece. So that means that actually each one of these um, foot, whoa, that does not look good. Each one of these 
foot long pieces, I'll have to actually get thinner, gets cut into four itself. Ooh, I don't like that either. Hold on, I'm gonna get there. Let's go this way. What if we went here, right? So that actually means I'm getting four pieces for every foot because now we're really focusing on this one fourth foot piece right here. Okay. All right. So we know that. So he's cutting the board into one fourth foot pieces. So there's four there. Oh, okay. And then actually let's just keep cutting. So each foot is being cut into four pieces. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Let's uh, go back to the, the typing board. What do I do here? Oh, I go like this. Okay, this works. All right. So next sentence, if we put this together, um, how many, whoa, how many one fourth foot pieces can be made out of, out of the eight foot long board? Okay, well, I guess that makes sense to go back and go ahead and answer this piece because if we look at what we have here, if I know I'm getting four pieces for every foot, right? There's four pieces in each foot. So I have four, I'm gonna go back to changing. I have four pieces per foot and I have eight feet. Then I'm gonna get 32 pieces, which would make sense, right? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Okay, so that answers that part. Um, it doesn't say anything. Oh, it does. Sorry, see? Okay, next sentence, right? So th that's how much I saw so far, but it turns out, remember, we had two pieces of wood or two boards that were eight feet long. So now it's asking the next thing. So let's come back to this. Oh, nope, that's not how that works. That was fun though, if you saw that, put a little red dot there. Let's come back to this. And let's go after that. It says, find out how many pieces, whoa, Nathan can make out of his second board if he cuts one half foot sized pieces. Okay. Wow, pieces, 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 pieces. Cool. So that's actually the next question. So notice in this case, this was cool. I like that it, that it happened this way. It was not really planned, but I like that if we literally just typed out one sentence at a time, this is helping us. So then our next piece is we do have to figure out what's going to happen with the second board if we cut it into one half pieces. So again, I'm going to go back to modeling and know that I have eight feet so i'm going to represent the eight feet here each one of these boxes is is eight feet or a, a foot right and then we're cutting each one of these in half so this gets cut in half 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 so then we're really thinking like well how many pieces do we have right so there's one two three four five six seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So if I have eight feet at two pieces per foot, I get 16 pieces. So that's it. So I guess if we have to answer this question, right? I, one thing, I guess one thing we could write over here is let's put this together. If we like finalize the whole thing is that, uh, he can have 32 one fourth size sized pieces and 16 one half sized pieces. Wow. Okay. And that's it. I love it. This feels uh, shorter, I think, which is good because it's the second day of it. And like I said, I only really want to focus on one problem. So I'm going to actually leave it at this. So that's our work. Going back and thinking again of our pages. Wow, only two pages today, right? We come this idea of 
one sentence at a time. I only typed a sentence out at a time when we did this today. I might suggest to you, maybe use a piece of paper when you read the questions and cover everything and literally just show one sentence and read it and then do a little math, right? Model it, do the equations, uh, and then move the paper so you can see the second sentence. Uh, that is kind of what we saw happen here is that as we typed out each sentence, it actually helped us do each step and not miss a step. And then we got to a really cool final answer. So keep that process in mind. One sentence at a time, draw what you're reading, create equations to what you're doing or expressions or whatever so you know the math, and then just do the math one step at a time. I think that example I always use is like you don't shove a whole plate of food down your throat at the exact same time. You take bites of each thing. So that's what we're doing with our word problems is take little bites. We figured out Nathan's issues with his boards and that's that. So I don't know why I'm still talking. I just feel like this video is so short, but that's good. This is a good one. So I'll catch you as you're doing your work. Ask questions if you have it. Keep up the good work. Keep up the process. You are awesome. Peace out. <laughs>